Now, some of the supplements that I use, okay? I use garlic. People say garlic is bad. Well, I use it. Uh, fresh garlic is preferable is preferably grown organically. Um, if you can get organic garlic, it's amazing. It's an antibiotic. It's an antiviral. It's an antitoxin. Um, it's not good for pregnant dogs, so don't feed it necessarily to pregnant dogs. Um, Akitas and Shiba Inus. Try to stay away from some garlic. Uh, I'm just reading my notes here. Um, no garlic if your dog's on meds. Uh, after a year or so, two garlic cloves blended up. And, you know, and that, that should, or one, one clove of garlic blended up. Uh, I used to feed Achilles that when he was little. Never had a problem. Pandora, Xena, no problems. Uh, I've kind of slacked off on supplements because a supplement is exactly that, a supplement. The diet itself should already be good. You don't really should need supplements. Uh, but garlic is something that I do use. Um, honey. Now, local honey is, is also good. It's a... It's a carbohydrate, but it is good. It's naturally found. Like I said to you guys, a lot of these things are naturally found. This is common sense. So if it's naturally found to me, bears eat it. A dog can get a hold of it, right? A wolf can get a hold of it. Now, if your dog has allergies to seasonal allergies, uh, if you live in an area where you can get natural bee pollen, natural bee pollen, it's something very good to use on your on your food. You toss it on your food like a tablespoon or so, uh, or but you want to start with one or two of these little pinches of grains for the bee pollen. And what you want to do is that animal will start adapting to the bee pollen and hopefully help their allergies out locally if you get it locally. Um, bee pollen, I, I, I barely use it. I never have any problems, but it's, it is something that you can use. Uh, it's good to use before allergy season. If your dog does have allergy season, you could try bee pollen. Um, like I said, grain or two, add up, add up till you get to about uh, two tablespoons, two teaspoons, two teaspoons uh, of bee pollen. Let's go through the list here. Sea kelp. Sea kelp is, is, is really good for thyroid function and general immune immunity. Uh, I don't have a sea kelp here. But I usually use like a quarter teaspoon, small teaspoon of sea kelp. Um, I don't know if it does anything. I haven't used it in a long time. But there's a lot of people that say it's good and I haven't had any problems. I barely, like I said, I don't use a lot of supplements. Um, apple cider vinegar. This is just one of those things that it's really good for us and it's really good for you. But you want the natural version. You don't want anything filtered. You don't want anything pasteurized. You kind of want everything as natural as can be. Now, apple cider vinegar is good to put in a bottle to spray on dogs. You can put a tablespoon, fill up the water bottle, spray it on their fleas and ticks. Uh, it repels those guys. It's natural. It's safe. For me, it's all around good. It helps with arthritis, digestion, the coat, urinary tract, uh, urinary um, tract. It's like a tonic. Uh, it's all around good. Tablespoon or t a tablespoon in their water here and there. Um, that's what I do here and there. Here and there is the key. I don't really use it all the time, but I never have problems. Um, another one is a big one for me. A big, huge one for me is kefir. Now, kefir, kefir, whatever you want to call it, okay? This is a probiotic. This is very good for your stomach. You and the dogs, okay? This builds the bacteria up in the stomach. Like I said before, the stomach is where all the problems arise from. So you can get one of these for like seven bucks. This thing was seven bucks. You pour two, three spoons on your on your dog's uh, food. Sometimes I, I give them like a cupful, you know, on the on their food. So even if I feed kibble, I'll add some of this on there here and there. Um, this thing's amazing. This builds up their immune system. Uh, if I see dogs that look like their own skin's a little uh, beat up or some friend's dog, I'll tell them, hey, get some kefir and try it on the dog. Guess what? They're fine. My puppies also go through a lot of kefir as puppies. It's loaded with calcium. It's loaded with probiotics. Eggs. Now, uh, I use a lot of eggs. Um, eggs are great. I boil them because they say that uh, a raw egg, the biotin, it stops calcium absorption from the egg white. 
I don't know if it's a bunch of crap, but I boil my eggs. An egg on top of their food or a little egg helps. Eggs are cheap. You know, you get a dozen eggs for five bucks. I mean, it's cheap, right? One egg. You boil them up. Um, I do use raw too on my on my uh, dogs. I just crack an egg. I never had any problems. But I mean, I'm not a nutrition person. I don't have factual uh, vet experience. So I would suggest to boil the egg. Uh, what else we got here? So let's talk about fish oil. Fish oil is something that's good to give your dogs. Okay. Um, it's not always in your meat because it's not grass fed anymore. So they kind of are missing their omegas. Um, a fish oil supplement needs vitamin E. Uh, I would say 100 IUs for a small dog, 800 IUs for a big dog. Uh, grain, grain fed diets deplete your dog's natural vitamin E. Okay, so it's always good to supplement your, uh, your vitamin E. Be mindful of the vitamin E. I do blood tests on my dogs, so I never have a problem. I don't even check for vitamin E, but if you're going to feed a lot of uh, fish oil or, or something like that or a lot of grain, um, adding a little bit of vitamin E doesn't, doesn't, um, doesn't hurt. Now, you can find that in kidney and liver. Um, coconut oil, another supplement, okay? Coconut oil, good for you, good for me, good for my dogs. Um, it's been known to kill bad breath. It's good for dry skin, especially in the winter. Um, it helps with uh, IBS. If your dog's got IBS, colitis. It's known to help colitis and IBS. Um, assist in thyroid function, great for digestion. A uh, quarter teaspoon for small dogs to one teaspoon for big dogs. Uh, take your time, feed it slowly, like anything in this diet or anything you're gonna feed. When you do feed a diet, uh, make sure you add it progressively. You don't just go ham because if your dog's belly is not like an iron pot like uh, like ours, don't do it. Because if you got diarrhea, I don't want you to leave a comment on my YouTube, okay? About your dog's got diarrhea, he crapped all over the place. I hate you. I hate you, bulletproof guy. You stupid. I don't want to hear it. Take your time. Use common sense. You know, anytime you get onto a new protein, anytime you take a piece of mackerel. Anytime you're going to feed a mackerel, make sure you feed in small doses so the dog builds his, his, his uh, enzymes in his stomach, builds up to eating these things. Um, but we want to give a very diverse diet, right? We don't want to just have one protein.